So many cameras have come out since the Panasonic GH5 was released. People are jumping on the full frame bandwagon and they're choosing specs that the GH5 may or may not have, good or bad, none of that's right or wrong. But I've got my friend Bobby here, a GH5 user, and we're gonna talk about why the Panasonic GH5 is still one of the best cameras that you can get going into 2020. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Bobby Peacock, AKA DJ Peacock. And yes, my real last name is Peacock. Kind of cool. So it's easy to pick a DJ name. But anyways, we're not here to talk about me being a DJ. I am a DJ content creator, a GH5 user for freelance and for vlogging and stuff. And I absolutely love this camera and I can't wait to share that with you guys. And thank you so much for having me on your YouTube Dude, channel. Super pumped, super love having excited. You here. Love having you here, man. Yeah. Check out his information down below in the description, his Instagram, YouTube, it's all there. Awesome creator, check him out. Let's get into the GH5. I like that take. Yeah, I, I thought it was good. Okay. Space. Feel the rhythm, feel the ride. One, two, three, it's past that time. Okay. All right, guys. So one of my favorite features on the GH5 has to do with the IBIS. Now, what does IBIS stand for? It actually stands for in-body image stabilization. Now the Panasonic GH5 has one of the best in-body image stabilizations on the market today. Now, in-body image stabilization is good if you know how to use it. You can get some super, super smooth motions by using it if you know how to use it properly. Breath, breath. One of the greatest features about the GH5 is just the functionality and customization that you have with this camera. This thing is loaded with function buttons that you can set up custom menus. And all you need to do is just find one of these function buttons like function two, hold it down and you can set the custom menu right from there. And not only that, you also have the custom settings up on the knob up top. So you can set custom one, set that to 120 frames per second. You got custom two, set that to 60 frames per second. And then right from there, you just turn the knob and you have them ready to roll, like while you're shooting. So the functionality and customization of this camera is through the roof and probably one of the best on the market. Hold it, hold it. All right, here we go, here we go. Now next has to be the lens options. Now, people stray away from this because it's a micro four thirds camera, but the lens options that are out there for it are absolutely phenomenal. You have the native Panasonic lenses, you have Olympus lenses, and then with the speed booster, you have full frame glass. So that's Canon, Sigma, all the, on top of that, there's speed boosters out there for it, for uh, Viltrox, Metabones. I personally prefer the Metabone speed booster. I love the 18 to 35 1.8. It's a beast of a lens. That's a Sigma, you gotta check that out. I have this like weird way of talking when I'm on camera that's not natural. Another feature I love about the Panasonic GH5 is the mobile app that you have with it. It's not necessarily part of the camera, but it controls every aspect of the camera. So you can hit record, like if I'm standing back here, I can hit record, I'm ready to roll. But I've got a bunch of other features and menu items on the app that makes it super easy to film yourself for things like this, like YouTube. So in a future video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the app and how it controls the camera. <laughs> All right, cool. One of the last things that I love is the resolution of this camera, what it has to offer. We're talking 4K 10-bit 422. What? That means that you have a full range of colors that this camera that this camera can take in. That means <laughs> That means that you have a full range of colors that this camera can take in. It's absolutely phenomenal. Now, most people don't know that this camera actually shoots in 6K, but it's anamorphic. Now, check this out. There's a lot more budget-friendly anamorphic either options or lenses that are coming out soon that I'm excited to try out on this camera. Like, come on, 6K? Oh. And then let's talk about like 1080. 1080, 180. 80. I mean, that's super slow motion. I personally just use 120, but compared to some other cameras out there, this camera actually 
shoots better quality slow motion than some of these other cameras and so that's what i love about this camera is just the resolution and the the options for choosing that back to you caleb <clears throat> okay focus lock another feature that i love about the gh5 is the focus lock and manual focus now the autofocus on the gh5 is not fantastic but the focus lock on manual mode is outstanding so what you can do is set up the focus box in the middle of the frame, use your app to hit focus lock. It locks onto you and you're ready to roll. You're ready to shoot. So another way you can do it is you have the focus lock button on the back of the camera or you use the touch screen, which is awesome on the GH5 as well to focus lock. Now you're thinking, ah oh man, I gotta, I gotta check my wallet because you know, like a camera like this sounds super expensive. Well, it used to be when I bought it, but today it's actually gone down, which is the price is $1,297.99. And so what that means is that the camera just for the body is actually not that expensive. And the lens options, especially if you're just first starting out, are actually not that expensive either. You can get a pretty good kit under probably under two thousand dollars and so that's what i love about this camera i mean i use it for professional shoots and sometimes vlogging as well but mainly for professional shoots and my clients love the look that this camera produces because it is super clean and so guys thanks so much for checking this out and i don't know <laughs> All right, there you have it. There's our thoughts on the Panasonic GH5. It's a great camera, still one of the best that you can get going into 2020. Make sure you check out Bobby's YouTube channel, Instagram page. It's all linked below. Go subscribe, check him out. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. If you found anything in this video helpful, hit the bell for when new videos come out and I'll catch you in the next video. Comment, subscribe. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't give you any space there, man. Dude, I don't, I don't need it. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>